Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts and the Battleship League Division 2. And it is today the last fight for HMS Nelson, who's proven to be a little bit surprising, to be honest, so far. Anyway, Nelson's opponent today, oops, <laughs> is none other than the Bismarck. And thank goodness the game did, in fact, select Bismarck. Um, <clears throat> so, this is going to be interesting because, of course, uh, Rodney was the ship that kind of, well, helped take down Bismarck. So, this is going to be very interesting. In fact, um, all of the ships in Division the British ships fought uh, against Bismarck. So we've got um, Nelson and, you know, Rodney was uh, fighting against Bismarck, of course. Uh, we also have uh, the KG-5s and KG-5 herself and Prince of Wales both fought against Bismarck. And, of course, we have Hood uh, versus Bismarck, which is going to be very interesting to see. Right. No hits at the moment. I'm expecting too much this kind of extreme range. But I'm doing it. Up to about five percent accuracy now. Ooh, partial. First damage goes to Nelson. up to now 10% and we are about 16 kilometers away so I don't want to get too close I'm going to edge away a little bit but normally it's the AI who turns away uh, this one seems to be coming in as well secondaries now opening up Still isn't brilliant though. Oh, a flooding hit. Oh, Nelson takes a hit. Half deck pen. Overpin, causing some flooding. What's Nelson's objective is also to slow Bismarck down. Um, or if this would have been a real fight, because she's obviously much slower. Uh, so Bismarck, having taken a little bit of damage could just sail away if you want to do all oh, but gets a really big hit again through the aft belt um seems to be a common feature so far with the uh, division there's another one but uh, aft deck but you know hits the aft section yeah they, they give you a big number and they reduce your structure but it seems to be float uh, floating damage that 
flooding damage rather that has been the really important factor in this division so far. Bismarck though, fairly well protected. Yeah, Nelson taking engine damage now. Uh, took a main deck hit. Yeah, that is going to do her in, I think. She's not going to be fast enough to catch up. Actually, ruined. Rolling over. Ooh, lost a turret. Uh, N. C or Q or whatever you want to call it. I would call it an N turret. Yeah, Bismarck seems to have our eye in now. Still firing. And lost another main gun? No, another hit to uh, disable the turret. In fact, with both turrets out, might as well try and get more end on. Huge hit right through the main deck. Um, that hurts. Ellie, I'm trying to record. Shush. Still no serious damage on this one. Barely scoring hits now. So hard to aim the guns. She seems to have stopped hitting as well. Ah, uh, she's target locked for some reason. It's not quite as good. Probably when she fixed that floor is when she started really hurting Nelson. Looks like she's coming in for the kill though. Uh, did score a hit, but didn't. Uh, didn't go through the armor. Uh, that one went through too much. <laughs> it's flooding, but yeah, Nelson is struggling. Yeah. She's not done for. Yet. That's not going to help. with a main belt pen completely finishing her off. Well, uh, not too surprising, I suppose, but um, let's swap over and see if the Bismarck can make it three points or not. Uh, yeah, Nelson, good. I know it says she's a 50,000 ton ship, but she's not actually. She's a, she's more like 42. Okay. Uh... Yes. I'll wait for the turrets to swing around. No, 
Nelson coming in. Yeah, looks like it. The hand wave, this is terrible German fire control. Hold on, fix it. Fix it. No. Just to be able to re click there. Gonna have to do a maneuver. Hold on. Sometimes that can help doing a turn and getting the guns to properly be quiet, but nope. Ah, oh, that's the most annoying bug in the world. And it really limits Bismarck's effectiveness, to be honest. And there's no way I can fix it in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Uh, if there was uh, another ship, I could change targets. Wait for it to fix itself. But I mean, you know, it's not like these two ships are maneuvering all over the place and sailing on radically changing courses or anything. version of what I'm talking about. There we go, finally fixed it. Finally fixed itself. And now Nelson's gonna be in trouble. Because we'll actually be able to start hitting. There we go. Big hit. Big hits. Nelson has had the same issue in return, so um, I don't think it it, it it's certainly fair. Um, ships on, whether it's an AI ship or it's a human-controlled ship, uh, it can happen. Oh, the torpedo! Cute trick. <laughs> Keep forgetting else you can do that. But unsuccessful. It's a pretty manoeuvrable ship, actually. Um, she's... Uh, wow, well, they're firing it again. <laughs> that thing reloads fast. No, no, speed past it. There we go. We fire, please. Engine damage them. Just a little unfortunate. All flooding damage. Now in the centre of the ship. Yeah. Uh, I think Nelson's done for. Gonna have yeah, she can't fire. Another 
flooding hit. And down she goes. Well, three points then to Bismarck, meaning that uh, all of Nelson's uh, battles have been done. And that means that Bismarck takes an early lead in the division. Interesting stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.